If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. Just wanted to do a quick video for you to say that we've upgraded BetAngel Trader to version 1.3. If you go to the top left hand corner of the screen, you'll see which version of BetAngel Trader you're on. Now there are three products that we do, BetAngel Basic, BetAngel Trader and BetAngel Professional. And what I'm showing you here is BetAngel Trader version 1.3. Now you already have on there uh, Betfair charts. If you want to bring up Betfair charts, you can do that. You also have the advanced charting, which you can see on the right hand side here. But we've also added in uh, matchsticks or last traded price uh, charts. Depends what you want to call it. If I click on the ladder settings here, then what you can actually do is find them underneath the last traded price chart column. Now you may have to scroll down, that's uh, what it looks like when you default. If you scroll down uh, about halfway down, maybe slightly more than halfway down, you'll see the last traded price chart column. If you tick on that, then you'll see that they will appear. And you can modify elements of it from there. So if you want to change the bar width, you can do that. The column width you can make bigger or smaller, depending upon what you want to do or what you want to plot and uh, what is of interesting. And then the gap between the chart and the rest of the ladder as well. Once you've done that, you can save that according to whatever you want. I could save it as default or I could save it as my chart setup or something therein thereof. And then that will remain as your standard setting within the settings that you've chosen and then you can obviously choose the settings from the drop down menu that you can see from up here. But yeah, these have been introduced in version 1.3 and that's how to bring them up. So if you're interested in what these charts are plotting, what you can actually see here is when you get a down tick, you, it marks it and then it puts a, a red marker at the bottom. And when you get an up tick, it marks it and then you get a green tick. And you can actually see whether the last traded price was um, above uh, or basically up or down um, on that particular range. You can actually see on here that we've got the uh, flashing on the ladder. So this is basically replicating what you can see here in effect. So you can see that when it uh, pops down to red it's going down and that's that's what you can see there. And if you see that it's uh, green then it means it did an uptick. It would trade it at the price above where the current price is. But that's basically how you'd interpret those charts. If you're interested in learning more about Betangel, Visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today.